do you have a valentine some women like their men older a little bit more seasoned hmm i feel like you're secretly engaged and you are just not telling us when i was younger i feel like i would marry a white man honestly so i've just learned how to let go of things how to detach my landlord one day just says i'm selling this apartment you have to leave what what, what am i supposed to do i have to leave hi my loves and welcome back or welcome to my channel if it's your first time hi my name is Kamsi Namani and in today's video I'm just going to be just in with you guys it's really chill I had a very long day but I just knew I wanted to film this video it's a Q&A life update so if you want to hear me answer your questions update you guys on what is going on what will go on in the future and all the tea please keep on watching <laughs> okay guys when i say i had a long day i really had a long day so i was just like you know what what will make me film this video i was like if i am relaxed and chill so i'm not wearing any you know my serious serious attire i'm actually wearing this beautiful pj set guess from where guess just take a while guess <laughs> my brand k casa this is our valentine set i really don't know what to call it yet but probably by the time you're watching this out of company name it's launching on the 4th of february i hope future kamsi gets this right or every other person but yeah i'm just wearing the long sleeve set and i'm wearing a size medium it's so cute oh i got thirsty yeah i just think it's something the girlies would like it's super cute you do not have to have like a boo or bae even though it's a valentine set honestly girl it's for you and for your girls great for valentine's great for any other day in the year not just valentine i just you know just have to make it seasonal but yeah i think it's really pretty it's really so pretty it has red piping you can see it okay just wanted to put you guys on if you'd like it we have a site now i'll put the link in the description and yeah let's start for real now i'm actually so thirsty but i really should be eating because i haven't eaten all day i've been filming but yeah let's start with your questions First one is, how is life going this new year? And so far, it's going well. I won't lie, I'm really busy. You guys can already tell from how consistent I've been on YouTube. Do you know how you just have to jumpstart yourself? Like, I wasn't feeling it at all. I was like, oh, I'll give myself two weeks. And I was just like, no, actually, I actually want to be back on my game on YouTube. I'm tired of seeing the arrows pointing down i'm tired of seeing the arrows pointing down i was like yeah okay let's start and i think when i just when i did the second video of the week and i was like this feels good i remember when i had engagement i missed talking to my youtube fam and i just kept going i had planned the first week of new year i was sick the last week in december so i really had a lot of alone time to just plan and schedule myself and i was just like yeah i'm, I'm going to do this and when the new year rolled around i was like let me just start and yeah i am an overachiever i when i say something i like to see it to the very end so i think i just posted the last video which is how to glow up and that was like the that was me posting twice a week from the second week of january till now all the while working on kcasa behind the scenes trying to learn marketing guys i have so much a newfound appreciation for brands that do so well with marketing they they plan this months in advance because that's just how you can do it enough for you not to be stressed because me i'm just like i'm just trying to do even this valentine said it was so last minute i made up my mind in january and i've been trying to fight tooth and nail to make this come you know at the right time so that it's on theme i just saw skims do hard and i'm like oh my god they did that in January to announce it. Do you, do you know how much planning? You have to plan in advance. And I'm just learning and I'm enjoying the journey for sure. I really am. I got my thank you cards today. You guys talk, told me about my year. I'm thinking about my business. But I mean, I guess this is the update, right? <laughs> I got my thank you cards today and I got my box. I don't know and I'll show you. I'm too lazy to stand up. But yeah, it's been, it's been great so far. I'm happy with myself. I hit my January goals. Again, it's the first month. So... We can't just relax, even though, honestly, guys, I think I'm going to take this week 
the first week in February, I'm going to rest. That's another thing I'm learning to do. Like you work hard, work hard, rest. If you don't rest, your body will rest for you. So exactly another thing I'm another thing I'm really trying to learn to just pace myself. I did well January, take a breather, plan for February, and keep it going. So the new year has been it has been great. It's been go, 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 go. Sorry guys, I had to adjust you guys. I feel like it wasn't straight, but the next question is how to stay consistent on YouTube. I get asked this question so many times and guys, I have filmed two courses talking about this. My beginner masterclass and my advanced masterclass. Please, I will link the I will link the course in my description. It's on seller. It's always available. There's no time restriction. When you're ready to buy, it's always going to be there. So I'll link in the description. You can also check my Instagram bio link. It's also there, but I would say the general thing is just to be consistent. I'm gonna put a side by side, a side by side picture of how my analytics were looking before I decided to be consistent in January. And now the last week of January, I'm gonna put the first week and last week on the screen. And you can see how everything just switched. My follower account, I took screenshots because I like to show people like I know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I know some people are consistent and it still doesn't work. There are other things involved. So if you buy my course, you will find out more okay yeah i think i had another question about the course someone had said yes yeah, someone had asked if i would if i'll be releasing an editing class anytime soon yes i will be okay by the time you're watching this i haven't put up the announcement but i am working on releasing an editing class on seller as well how i edit all my instagram um, pictures how i get my aesthetic the warm golden type vibe every single thing i'm going to release that soon but for now it's going to be going for 25k but once i put it up if you buy on time you can get it for 20k so yeah this is all i've been working on guys it's coming but yeah the answer to that is yes it's coming and the question was what's the motivation behind my courses on seller and that's basically trying to diversify my streams of income i am a creative entrepreneur whatever you want to call it and we we can't see how the country is going <laughs> we can't see the dollar rates i don't know depending on one source of income it's just not it's just i don't know unless you're earning millions and millions even at that i feel like you should have other streams of, in of income so besides youtube I said K Casa, even though it's in the early stages, so she's taking more money than she's giving right now, but we're trusting God. Um, so there's K Casa, I work with brands, there's YouTube, and Sela is a new one I found that is very lucrative. <laughs> That's also a very lucrative source of income. I would encourage every single creative try to create a digital product. If you do not have a digital product and you've been creating for over two years, you're missing out. And this is coming from me that I just started doing it. I used to do my courses, but it was like on live Zoom of like, like live classes and they're not the same. These are courses. They are always going to be there. When people keep asking me, oh, is it available? It's always going to be there. Come rain, come, come shine. Whenever you're ready to afford it, it's right there. It's not going anywhere. And it's just like, you're literally making money in your sleep. So when I saw that, I mean, you guys know I don't like talking too much about like figures and everything, but just for like context, when I put up the beginner and the advanced class, my beginner class, I put it at 30K, the discounted price, and the advanced class was at 40K. And I said the first 100 people to buy it, you know, get the 10K discount. And I got to the first 100 people in two days, multiply, by, <laughs> multiply that by 30K or 40K in two days. <laughs> so I don't know what else you're waiting for and that's why i'm starting the editing course to put that up there i'm going to have my presets soon other things my one-on-one -on -one classes are also coming i don't know if i would already dropped it but it's also going to be there i just need you know different sources so that if today this one is low tomorrow this one is up so that's the motivation babes ego <laughs> next one says would i ever consider moving to a new apartment Honestly, guys, I actually wanted to. <laughs> Funny story, before I had gone through the experience of moving, of 
house hunting and all of that i was just kind of like yeah you know how you watch all this like uk influencers today this year they're here next year they're... and even now with the whole um housing crisis in the uk is they don't even be moving that much anymore unless they have to but guys it is so hard to find a good place that has all the am amenities you want and not be stupid expensive well whatever you call expensive right so my first thought was like okay i'll start here i mean it can still work unless it can happen i don't know why i'm speaking like it's gonna happen you know kick ass might bring me there <laughs> but sometimes i'm just like i try to caution myself not to spend more if i don't need to do you understand so even if i earn more i earn more right now than i did when i moved here but it doesn't mean i have to now go to another place that is times two of this place just because i earn more that's not financially smart you're supposed to try and leave below your means as much as possible so you know unless you know, the margin is crazy then i'm like yeah screw it i'm gonna do it i will um another thing that honestly scares me is if my landlord one day just says i'm selling this apartment you have to leave what, what what am i supposed to do i have to leave so that's honestly my biggest fear is like but honestly at this point uh, if it, if it happens i would just take it as god wants me to leave here you know i've just changed my perspective and if you ever notice it when certain things happen what you end up with is usually better if that makes sense i don't know whenever i was scared i think when i was house hunting for this place there's so many places i lost and i was like oh my god i've lost the best this place beats everywhere I saw hands down. <laughs> so I'm just like, I think that experience taught me that it's just not for me. And I just, I've just learned how to let go of things, how to detach. If it's, if it's too difficult, if anything is too difficult, it's just like, this is not for me. Cause I, I shouldn't have to strive this hard to make this work, you know? So if he says, pack up, I'm just gonna start looking. But for now, we're still here. <laughs> Where can you shop K Casa Fit when it's out? We now have our own website. So K Casa PJs are exclusively sold on k-casa.com. That's where you can get our PJ sets. Next question is, would you ever go natural again? I highly doubt that. <laughs> the likelihood of me cutting my hair is more than the likelihood of me going back to be natural. I know I pranked you guys this video when I said I cut my hair. I, I did, I actually did to make this front bit. I did, I just, yeah. But going natural, no, it just, I just like this better. Didn't you guys, you guys have been hyping me with this bulb. I can just do any hairstyle I'm like, oh yeah, I can do it. When I had natural hair, I'm like, huh, no, I can't. Oh, this and that. Like even with heat, please, I cannot be serving my hair, <laughs> right? My hair is serving me, I will not, change my because of, mm -mm. you will listen to what i want to do if it's not working i'll cut you on over again it's not that deep that's just like my my thing right now i'm not gonna bit no you will you will do what i want okay <laughs> oh my legs are falling asleep <laughs> this question says is dating a guy that is 33 as a 21 year old okay hmm how, how many years is that that's 12 years a 12 year gap okay you're 21 so you are an adult so no rules are being broken right however my only concern would be you are still quite young as a 21 year old and him being 33 he has more experience than you so it's easier to manipulate you which is just what it is i know we always think i oh, know i'm smarter for my age like you can't no, no no you can't be experienced so that would just be my thing i don't think a 12 year gap is anything wrong if you were at least 25 26 if that makes sense some women like their men older a little bit more seasoned okay uh, not everyone likes their age mates and all of that. So a 12 year gap to me personally is not, is not bad. I, like I could do someone 12 years older than me. Yeah, I could. Um, but I am 26. So I feel like 
even though there could be some manipulation i just feel like i'm it won't be as bad that's what i would say so uh, is it okay yes but if my 21 year old sister told me that she's into my 63 i'll be like cut it end it now no i'll be like see, give me his number because what that's my answer <laughs> next question says do you intend on traveling outside the country this year um i do i do i do i do intend <laughs> so let's keep it i intend to well let's see how the year goes but yeah i i think i deserve it like whew, last year i was so responsible and i i knew i had things coming so i just you know i changed a few plans and just i'm just like yeah i really i want to relax so let's see how it goes please watch your body and skincare routine this was, this was actually asked a lot i'll be coming up with a shower routine pretty soon so help me god but um what would i say i exfoliate often that's something that i have said during way more i used to do it like twice a month because i thought you were supposed to but apparently it's like at least once a week it's not bad right so it just makes your skin softer i wax if you shave you shave but less hair it looks a lot smoother you oil up i got this really nice cream um no cream oil no boutique they gifted me it's so nice i would recommend it if you if you can't find the avino one that one is really really good and it smells beautiful excuse me <laughs> And then I mix it with the Nivea moisturizing cream, one of them. And that's my body routine, I guess. Next question says, do you have a Valentine? Hmm. <laughs> what is today? Today is 30th January. I start right now, 30th of January. Nobody has asked me to be their Valentine, so I guess I do not have a because I don't do that thing. If you don't ask me, I do not have a Valentine, so no, I do not have Valentine. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Is it necessary for young women to experience living alone before thinking of marriage? I don't know about the word necessary, but I think if you can, I would say you should. It does help. I feel I think I've changed so much I've been living by myself for two years now and um, yeah it's it's a good experience to have as a woman that's what I would say you just learn to know yourself and you learn to be by yourself and kind of make do with yourself if that makes sense I think I had another question about how does it feel living alone and it's a mix of emotions sometimes it's amazing it's like oh my god i'm like i'm so happy i live alone and other times it's like oh my god i'm alone <laughs> let me tell you when you're sick and live alone that's different it's just like if i die right now i'm sorry that's so more but it's like nobody cares like when you're going through this emotion and you live by yourself it's like ugh. Like you need someone to actually pull you out of it. Like I, I just, I either call someone. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go out. I can't just stay in this hole because it now feels like a hole. But sometimes, like you just, you just learn how to self soothe and like deal with your issues. Like there's no, there's no hiding from yourself. Like you're by yourself at home. Stay here and deal with it. So I would say it's, it's an amazing experience. Definitely recommend you don't have to do it it does it's not a make or break to like marriage or anything but it's a good experience to have if you get proposed to this year would you be ready to settle down at this stage in your life and then that one says i feel like you're secretly engaged and you are just not telling us <laughs> it's the way you guys are already planning is there any planning? No, no, that's, okay, that's what she said. I feel like you're secretly engaged, or if you ever get engaged, you would not tell us. I okay, guess what she said. <laughs> um, if I got engaged, I would share it. Maybe not immediately. Definitely not immediately. Definitely not immediately. But I would share with you guys. Like, come on, I've seen you guys along different i feel milestones in my life so that's something i would want to share like i don't feel like you guys are like witches or anything some of you maybe <laughs> but 
the majority of people of you guys are not so i would definitely share it but yeah not immediately or anything like that i would definitely want to you just have it to myself and my loved ones and my partner before coming out with the news and the other question i said if you get proposed to this year would you be ready to settle down at this stage in your life um hmm i feel like it actually depends on the partner honestly i feel like people bring out different sides of you i feel so i guess maybe there might be someone and i'm like i feel like we should date longer and then with someone i'm like yeah this this feels right so honestly i don't know but i feel like i'm in a better stage right now than two years ago <laughs> when i was 24 i was 25 that was not on my mind like at all like what are you talking about but i feel now it's more like okay okay it's not it's not impossible <laughs> another question was like please shock us with an engagement or something dramatic you shock you shock me shock me with that you will see your mouth what software do you do do you use for your edits i use final cut do you have to marry an Igbo man or someone from your tribe no i'm not really like that i love the personality although i don't know if that's just a general statement but you know how Igbo men are known for how like they are providers and they work hard and they like to make sure their families sorted out before themselves not the one that you're shining but your wife looks as if she's struggling like Igbo men my my tribe men they know how to do that and i like that so as long as the man i'm with has that personality of taking pride in taking care of his family his woman making sure she's okay there's just it's not like that's what he wants you to shine and look like he's you know doing well as long as a man has that I feel like be white to be brown be indian be whatever i really i'm not i'm not really fussed about it i when i was younger i feel like i would marry a white man honestly because the way these nigerian men were moving i'm like <laughs> i don't know how me and especially we stay in the same house so i'm really not fussed about it my mom is also from delta my dad's Igbo, so i didn't really like grow up in a situation where it was like you have to marry from like Igbo Igbo because that's not necessarily my family unit so i just i don't care honestly it's 2024 come on like <laughs> this question is about sewings um are you trying to say like things they don't like about sewings um i think it's okay doing things that <laughs> it can itch <laughs> i didn't even i was shocked by how it can get so itchy when you do sewings but another thing is that you're actually supposed to be washing they just be having washes in between your sewing you're just supposed to have it on and if you're carrying it for three weeks you don't wash it like i'm about to go wash this this weekend i've had it for i think it's almost two weeks or so and it's starting to itch me so i'm like okay it's time for me to go wash this and just like give it a little refresh but besides that obviously you know avoid heat like i told you guys earlier i'm not working for my hair my hair is working for me so she'll work me i'm working she'll work she'll take off the heat <laughs> so i think that's the only thing it's just that it can itch but any other thing i'm okay just sleep with the rat tooth comb beside your bed and you're fine uh okay i think i'm gonna end with this question it says do you see yourself having a family channel when you are married and have kids guys i honestly don't know some of these questions i'm like i've never even thought about this in my life family channel i don't i really don't know i really don't know a lot of things are happening on the internet and i don't know if i'll be one of those parents that will actually post my kids i don't know i don't know i do see how the argument of you know your child didn't give you consent before i was like what's that but would they want that out there i don't know because me i know how i right now i can i'm private and maybe if my parents were posting everything about me would i i don't know i don't know it's, i don't my mind doesn't go there but that's is i don't know <laughs> okay but yeah guys i think that's it i got a lot of you know i love yous um i'm your motivation thank you so much so much love from different parts of the world girl thank you guys so so much thank you i think i'm going to end this video here i hope you liked this style very chill like for like one face time again if you like to cop this pj set i will put the link to kcasa's website in the description 
And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.